presenting. I need just you to speak loud because it's not that good audio. Yeah, so I don't know how loud can I be now, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm Marco Donnarumma. Um, I'm based in London. Um, I'm, I'm a new media artist and sound artist. Um, mostly, I don't even like the word artist, so like obsessively curious person about things. And um, I work with, with biophysical music. Um, and um, use the body as, as a means of, of expression, um, either by computers. And um, I collaborate since some time now with uh, with Sark, uh, so that's why we are here together. Uh, I'm Anna Weisling, and I'm currently in the States, and I work with mostly visual art and. Um, Primarily at this moment, uh, using visuals in a musical sense and how to connect the two, and if they can be connected successfully, how do you do that? And I've been collaborating with these guys for a few weeks. Uh, I was a student at SARC, uh, Miguel was my teacher, and kind of started collaborating from there. I'm Miguel Ortiz. Um, <coughs> I work at the Sonic Arts Research Center in uh, Queen's University, Belfast. Uh, I started working with um, uh, physiological signals for uh, real-time music making a few years ago. Um, I use a lot of different things, um, brain waves, uh, heart monitors, uh, muscular tension. Uh, today we used um, a variety of things. Uh, I mean, I, I like to use, um, at some point I randomly decided that the body can be an electronic music instrument, and my research focuses on trying to explore and find out what type of music that instrument wants to play. That's, that's the work I do. And how do you make up with the conception of putting the visual things with the body and the technological devices that you use so much, like the the visual thing, like because looking look like you are like powerful person, <laughs> like superpower, <laughs> and the sound that takes all the the environment and you feel like overwhelmed with all the well, the, the environment. The trio first. Yeah. Um, so for the trio, we. Um, we used uh, four uh, sensors for uh, measuring muscle activity, uh, specifically uh, muscle sounds. And this is actually a design by Marco. So it is his, uh, his instrument, basically. Uh, and this was my first time ever performing with it. Uh, I normally use different uh, technologies, and um, I think it worked really well. Uh, we were communicating with Anna's computer, so all of the information about what we were doing was not only driving the sounds on our own computers, but also that was being sent uh, to Anna for the visuals. And maybe you want to talk about... Yeah, uh, when they approached me, it was really about collaborating and bringing the sound and the visuals together and essentially connecting these two. Um, I mean, orally, they're already connected because the sound is mixing in the room but how to visually connect them and kind of keep that, um, the data connection that they were sending, uh, keep their individual personalities with the visuals, but also create a bridge between the two of them. Um, so I worked to have their data individually controlling the two sources of lines that would eventually grow towards each other. And using their, uh, their muscle activity and also uh, recordings of their heart rates. Um, that was kind of how I generated and drove the, the course of the piece and also some intervention on my end. Yeah, so they said most of it, but yeah, the idea is, uh, is, is embodied quite well in the name of, of the project, which is liminal corpus. Uh, so liminal means when, when two entities or more entities are independent but still 
crossing over each other and intertwining with each other. Um, so we, we took these ideas of liminality and, and applied it to our biological body. Uh, so what, what, what Anna said and what Miguel said, so we were using uh, the instrument that I designed that's called Accense, which basically captured muscle sound, um, like, like the heartbeat, it's a muscle sound. Uh, so there is the same sound in, in all your body when you move. Um, so it's, it's a really good mean um, to, to inform the body's expressivity. And uh, with, with the collaboration with Anna, we kind of sublimate this, um, making it visual and uh, trying to visualize this liminality of our bodies performing at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever three of you are in the stage, it's like you're more controlling the computer and you do a more performatic thing, like you move more and you seem, I can be totally wrong because I understand a little bit of this kind of thing, but in you do a more controlled, more, seems to be more controlled muscle movement that you are performing there and he's more, and the, first, the, the one, three of you are more loose and it compounds a uh, lots of tones of the of the music so how you like get to this you know those two kind of movements composing uh, only scenery and um, well this is it's a very interesting thing um, uh, for us as well um, Marco I think uh, it's hard to say it's more of a performer in the in the sense of performance art uh, I come from a musical background Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I, I feel more like just playing an instrument and there is certain gestures and certain movements uh, that are not really planned or done uh, as a means of expression, but just that's the, the type of movements I need to do to get the sounds I want to hear. Uh, and the idea for, for us to collaborate, uh, I mean, it's, it's been a very interesting experience because uh, this uh, small world of uh, working with uh, physiological signals with just uh, the body is actually quite small still at the moment. There's, there's very few people that have um, a trajectory of, of really iterating uh, on doing research on this type of uh, work, um, pioneered maybe by Atau Tanaka, who is now Marco's supervisor uh, at the University in, in Goldsmiths. And there are all these kind of different styles. And I think it's probably the first time uh, two performers doing muscle activity, uh, you know, as a solo, per as a solo muscle uh, performance. Yeah. It's probably what the first, or one of the first times that this happened. And uh, we thought that would be very interesting. And using this, the exact same instrument, uh, because I used Marcos design instead of what I use normally, so it was a bit of a challenge of, you know, we have the same palette, but then our performance styles are completely different and trying to, uh, again, uh, with this liminal corpus idea, uh, keep some individuality and in each one in their style, but bring, uh, make something that, that holds together. Okay, if anything else you want to talk about the work or special? What did you talk about? The Yeah. yeah. <laughs>